All right, well, weather is not cooperating with this. We're, uh, I think it's just starting. We're gonna get hit with this front with this rain coming off the off the coast. It's coming from the east. We got a dead east wind right now, but hopefully where we're set up, I got the blind set, um, which is we're actually down off of where I hunted last night on the other side of a, uh, that little swampy woods. So the blind set up for an east wind. Hopefully these deer move through. Uh, we're supposed to get pounded with rain here around six o'clock, but hopefully they move before that. Yesterday they moved, it was about 4.30, 20 after four, somewhere in there. They might move just as early again today, not sure, or maybe not at all. But we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. It was a dove. Mm-hmm. Couple of them. Oh yeah. So we're gonna get down in there. Hopefully we don't get soaked on the way. But once we're in the blind, we should be all right. So we're gonna try to get down there as quick as we can before the heavy part of the rain comes. And we'll see what the night brings. So we'll see you guys down there. Stick it back here if they come through. We'll have a what 15 yard shot. Just something to try to slow them down a little bit if they do come through. So we're gonna get in here, get settled in, and hopefully they start moving soon. Just hung my good luck charm up for my daughter, so hopefully. Uh, Hopefully that brings us luck tonight. We're all set up here. We got we got some good areas to shoot. We could shoot probably 40 yards out to our left, 30 yards out in front of us. The only thing we gotta watch is to our right. Because if uh, if we miss something coming up here, it's gonna be 10 yards right in front of us before we know it. So it's gonna be, uh, well, everything's pretty much gonna be right on top of us, just like it was last night when I sat over there. So we're just gonna have to keep our eyes peeled. We're not gonna hear them tonight. So hopefully with this front moving around there, moving in here and we'll get a shot. is yeah right past that rub see how the weeds kind of start angling uphill yeah that's where I first saw him and he 
he looked right over here. I don't know, I guess, well, the blind's new to him, so... Yeah, but it popped out right there. Shit. He was about... At first I thought it was him, but it was weeds moving with the rack. He's only eating, like, little... A little basket rack, maybe a three-pointer. All right, well, that's the end of this evening hunt. Uh, we're out of camera light. We did see a couple deer cross from that cornfield over into the other side of the cornfield, but they were probably about, what, about 300 yards? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it was a nice sit. Rain's coming in now. We're gonna have a fun walk out of here. It's windy. Mm -hmm. It's not windy where we're sitting here. We're in a little cove almost. But as soon as we get out to that cornfield, it's gonna it's be, gonna it's gonna be like a uh, tornado out there. But what? What the heck is that? What is it? I don't know, something just moved there. So we're gonna come up with a game plan for tomorrow and uh, hopefully this rain passes through a little bit because it's shitty weather like this. Especially with the wind blowing you can't hear nothing. So that's all she wrote for tonight. We'll see you guys on the next hunt. saw every deer that's on this farm on the way in so I don't know where they're gonna end up but there were two right when we pulled in there were three up at the top of the cornfield and then there were three right before the pond here when we get in don't know what they were but we'll see what happens hopefully they come back through here again when it gets light out but they're definitely moving this morning Hoping that's a good sign.
We're gonna pack it in for the morning. We had a single, it looked like a younger doe come down that, the farm road down there along the corn. And uh, that was pretty much it. Birds flying around, that was the big thrill of the morning. So we're gonna get a game plan together, see what we're gonna do for this evening, where we're gonna sit. And like Dennis said earlier, we might split up, hit two different spots and see what kind of movement we're seeing. So, uh, we're out of coffee, so we gotta pack it in. Yeah, yeah, we need more coffee. <clears throat> coffee, breakfast. Yep. And uh, we'll see what the game plan will be for this evening, and hopefully it's a little bit more festive. We've got some more deer movement once this rain gets through here. Uh, I think it'll be better, so we'll see you guys this afternoon in a stand. Two stands, maybe. And uh, hopefully we put one down tonight. All right, guys, good afternoon. So the rains have stopped, as you can tell. The sun has come out. It's gotten a little warm, a little warmer than I would have liked it to. Didn't think it was going to get this warm today, but we're going hunting. So I am gonna head back in the general area of where we've been last night and this morning. We've been seeing deer moving through, but they're skirting edges of crops and woods lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down here and go over to this hollow. And I'll walk the edge of the hollow, look for some sign and try and set up in a tree right off of um, a corner of uh, the cornfield. tracks going down along this cornfield coming up this way out in front of me here um, there's three scrapes that are really I can't tell when they were worked last because the rain has everything washed away so but there's three scrapes there's one right in front of my tree and then two up above me to the left here as I walk down I walk the top of this uh, cover crop field out and there's big trails coming all the way across, lots of deer tracks. I found that big, big pile of deer droppings right up above me here. Um, and uh, these deer like to bed back in this, on the other side of this tree line, or they could be in this cornfield. So I was a little worried because when I was down here, the wind didn't seem good, but now the wind's in my face southeast like it's supposed to be. So um, I should be good. If a deer comes in the woods here, I can turn around and I can shoot. So. We got a lot of shooting opportunities. We're sticking out a little bit, so I got the, the leafy ghillie on to kind of help blend in with some of the background and surroundings. Uh, but we do have the sun setting at our back, so any deer that are coming out will have the sun in their face and the wind in our face. So let's see what happens. It's 3.30, so we got about uh, three hours.
Well, I just saw a buck. Um, I can get him on film because he went around the. He came out over where our ground blind is. And he walked around that small pond that's behind the ground blind. He's not, he's a, he's a pretty big body deer, but he's not a real big rack. Maybe seven points. But he walked around that way, so I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled. He, he might work his way around and he might make a big loop, who knows? So we'll see. When he gets closer, you get a bigger, better look at him. You never know, but saw our first deer. Big, big body on him, big body.
was cool. That was that buck I saw over by the pond. And he did exactly what I thought he was gonna do. He came all the way around. He actually came through the cornfield. He come right out at the corner right here. He walked up, made a little, just kind of worked the licking branch down there. Worked the licking branch right over this one scrape here. And then he came in, he must have caught my ground scent right on this pine right here. Then he just went out and stood out there. I could have shot him. It looked like seven points maybe. I'm not even sure I was, wasn't counting the points, but it got at least seven of them. But uh, I just stayed nice and still. He just didn't know what it was and he blew a couple times, but then he went in. There's a trail that comes out right where he went in. I saw it as I was walking out in here this evening. And he, uh, he went right into that trail. That was fun. Now we just need a big doe or a big buck to kind of do the same thing and uh, have to figure out if I can get that camera out of the way. I'd like to get a shot right here maybe before they get up here because unfortunately this, this slopes uphill so they're a little bit more eye level with me when they get above me here on my left side of the tree. So if I can get drawn when they're behind this little uh, oak then uh, that would be much better, so. That was fun. It's as close as we've been all year. I just saw a big doe all the way across by that palm where this buck came from. She went up, at least it looked like she was going up. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. As you can see, it's getting dark and I'm pretty much out of camera light and it's end illegal shooting time anyway, so I'm gonna start packing up and head down. I'll see you back at the truck.